the doctor who was leading the government's efforts to find a coronavirus vaccine says he lost his position for contradicting the president. Dr. Rick Bright says he was removed for resisting a push toward unproven treatments touted by President Trump. But at the latest White House briefing, there was a public display of unity after these new tensions between the president and his medical advisors. Li Zhejiang reports now from the White House. It was totally misquoted in the media on a statement about the fall season and the virus. Totally misquoted. President Trump began Wednesday's press briefing asking the director of the CDC, Dr. Robert Redfield, to explain comments he made in an interview to the Washington Post. I didn't say that this was going to be worse. I said it was going to be more complicated or more difficult. But Redfield was quoted in the newspaper saying that a second wave could be more difficult because it may coincide with the flu. And he eventually said it was the headline he took issue with, not the article. I'm accurately quoted in the Washington Post as, as difficult. The president had a much more optimistic view for the fall. It may not come back at all. We're going to be watching for it. But it's all possible. It's also possible it doesn't come back at all. Moments later, Dr. Anthony Fauci directly contradicted that claim. We will have coronavirus in the fall. I am convinced of that. Fauci is one of the few health experts within the administration who has publicly disagreed with Mr. Trump. On Wednesday, a high-ranking scientist said he was reassigned to another role because he resisted the White House's efforts to push chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine as treatments for the virus. I never heard of him. When did this happen? Richard Bright was the director of the federal agency in charge of developing drugs to fight coronavirus. And in a statement, Bright said the Trump administration pressured me and other conscientious scientists to fund companies with political connections as well as efforts that lack scientific merit. If the guy says he was pushed out of a job, maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. I did have to hear the other side. I don't know who he is. A spokesperson for Health and Human Services says it was Dr. Bright who recently requested the emergency use of chloroquine. The agency is also under fire for its secretary, Alex Azar's pick, to lead HHS's response to the virus. An aide, Brian Harrison, who has minimal public health experience and previously ran a labradoodle breeding business. Azar defended his choice, praising Harrison's strong leadership during an unprecedented public health emergency. Gail. All right, we should thank you.